brethren, being a true believer in Christianity, although had unsuccessful attempts to convert the emperor from paganism into her religion, nevertheless, she astonished him by her knowledge. He forthwith put her under guard while he set out a search for fifty learned men, whom he charged to dissuade her from her belief. They were unsuccessful. Catherine's arguments were so brilliant that the sages were confounded, and it was she who managed to convert them. The emperor then decided that Catherine should be put to death. On his orders, knife blades were attached to four wooden wheels, which were set to rotate in opposite directions, two to the right and two to the left. To this, the virgin was trapped, and the emperor ordered that they begin to rotate. But far from cutting Catherine to shreds and subjecting her to a terrible ordeal, the wheels spun on their own, and her flesh was not even torn. At this, the emperor decreed that Catherine should be beheaded, and his orders were carried out on the 25th of November in 305 AD. The church of St. Catherine in Alexandria is said to be the place where she suffered martyrdom, and inside the chapel is a block of marble believed to have come from the column to which she was bound. St. Catherine is generally portrayed in iconography with what has become known as the Catherine Wheel. Several different traditions relate to St. Catherine's association with Sinai. According to one popular version, five centuries passed after her martyrdom before a monk in Sinai had a vision, in which her body became radiant with light after her death, and was lifted up by angels to a peak near Mount Sinai, where it remained incorruptible. This peak was known later as Mount Catherine. When monks ascended the Mount of Catherine in the 9th century, they found the intact body of St. Catherine. It exuded a sweet-smelling mirror that was periodically collected in small bottles because it was believed to have a holy and healing properties.